Welcome to Color. In this video, you'll learn useful information about genetic testing for hereditary cancer risk, as well as the types of results it can provide. Learning if you have an increased genetic risk for cancer can make a difference. Cancer is complex and has many causes. Most cancers are sporadic and not due to one identifiable cause. But about 10 to 15% of certain cancers are due to harmful genetic changes called mutations that are passed down through families. Color's genetic risk analysis is designed for women and men to detect mutations in a comprehensive set of genes associated with common hereditary cancers. Breast, colorectal, melanoma, ovarian, pancreatic, prostate, stomach, and uterine cancers. Understanding if you have a genetic predisposition to cancer allows you and your healthcare provider to create a screening and prevention plan that is tailored to you. This is important because detecting cancer at its earliest stage improves the likelihood of a favorable outcome. Screening is useful for men as well as women. Half of all people with mutations are men. And just like women, men have a 50% chance of passing a mutation on to each of their children. Color believes it is important for you to understand what can and cannot be learned from genetic testing. Genetic mutations can increase risks for certain cancers, but this does not mean cancer will definitely develop. A positive result, or finding a mutation, is not a cancer diagnosis and does not mean that you will ever develop cancer. For example, most women have a 10% chance of getting breast cancer by the time they're 80, while a woman with a mutation in the BRCA1 gene can have up to an 81% chance. Most men have a 2% chance of getting colorectal cancer by the time they're 70, while a man with a mutation in the MLH1 gene can have up to a 41% chance. The level of increased cancer risk differs from gene to gene. Even if your results show no mutations, you may still get cancer. While inherited mutations explain some cases of cancer, the majority are sporadic and can't be explained by a single cause. Some non-genetic factors that can influence cancer risk include environment and lifestyle, as well as family history without a known genetic link. No genetic test detects everything. It is possible that some types of genetic changes which increase the chance of cancer will not be detected by genetic testing. In addition to genetic testing, family history and lifestyle play important roles in assessing your risk for cancer. You should be prepared to receive positive or negative results. Most people receive a negative result, meaning no mutations associated with an increased risk for the hereditary cancers covered by the color test were found in the genes we analyzed. While this can be reassuring, particularly for those with no family history of cancer, it does not eliminate your risks. Environmental factors and family history without a known genetic link account for the majority of cancers. It is therefore important to follow the screening and prevention plan recommended by your healthcare provider. A small percentage of people receive a positive result, meaning a mutation that increases risk for one or more of the hereditary cancers covered by the color test was identified. This result does not mean that you have cancer or that you will definitely develop cancer in your lifetime, but it is important that you share your results with your healthcare provider to create a personalized screening and prevention plan. It's normal to have variants of uncertain significance. We are all different at the genetic level. It is common to see changes in genes that require further research to determine if they are associated with an increased risk for developing cancer. Most are eventually found to be harmless. When we have more information, we will let you know. In this situation, you and your healthcare provider should rely on your personal and family history to formulate your screening and prevention plan. Mutations that impact risk for the cancers covered by the color test can also increase the risk of developing other cancers. This means we may come across information about your genetic risk for other cancers, such as kidney and thyroid, among others, depending on the gene in which a mutation is found. If we believe your risks for these cancers are increased due to a mutation, we will let you know. Regardless of the type of results you receive, we recommend that you share them with your healthcare provider. This can help you and your provider create a personalized screening and prevention plan. Your results could be useful to your relatives regarding their own chances of developing cancer. We encourage you to share your results, as testing may be useful for them as well. 
Keep in mind, though, that your results are unique to you. Even if you don't have a mutation, your relatives may. A consultation with one of our board-certified genetic counselors is included at no extra charge if you have questions about your results. You can also visit getcolor.com if you have questions about anything else.